Hi. I don't know about you, but I am very nervous waiting to see how Iran will respond to the Israeli assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniya. I think the Biden administration is nervous as well. You see them saying we didn't know about it, we didn't participate in it. Biden said it is, quote, not helpful for negotiating a ceasefire. <laughs> wow, that's an understatement. And Secretary Blinken is doing his usual song and dance. We have to calm things down. We don't want a regional war. But if the Biden administration doesn't want a regional war, why doesn't Biden say to Netanyahu loudly, clearly, publicly, we will not follow you down this path? Instead, what is it doing? It's sending more fighter jets and more warships to the region to, quote, bolster Israeli defenses. This is insanity. Iran will retaliate. We just don't know when and how. It might be in coordination with the Houthis. It might be in coordination with Hezbollah. And then what will Netanyahu do? He will want to respond with even more fire and fury. You would think that after 300 days of not being able to defeat Hamas, he would not want to pick a fight with even more powerful enemies, but no. Perhaps there are some fanatic members of APAC or some messianic Christian Zionists who want to follow Netanyahu down this path, but most of us don't. And that's why we must say to Biden, stop sending weapons to Israel. Stop supporting Israeli insanity. As we say on the streets, not another nickel, not another dime, no more money for Israel's crimes. Ceasefire now.